Al Fryers had a memorable and happy 64 years entertaining adults, children, and now baby boomers and seniors. His first publicity photo was taken in a dime store photo booth. But he was always making faces, and look at some of the baby boomers. He's still making birthdays happy and appearing at school reunions, fundraisers, parades, and festivals. Hal is currently appearing every week as an interpreter at the Indiana Historical Society as a grandpa. It all started with high school variety shows, the lead in the senior play, and entertainment programs based on the national radio program Breakfast in Hollywood. A real radio program came next. A teen sub program, 1945, sponsored by Ellis Ayers on local WIRE radio with a live music group. After a short stint in the Navy, Hal became a professional comedy singing MC and was booked around central Indiana and Illinois. Let's take our show on the road to Youngstown, Ohio, and our hero becomes host of a variety show called How's a Poppin'. The show ran five days a week for several years and even had holiday celebrations and, of course, pretty girls. And now may we introduce Horseshoe Hal and his first children's show with Western movies. And then almost overnight, Horseshoe Hal became Captain Hal with national guests such as Sky King and Always Children and the Popeye cartoons. Our Pied Piper marches off to Indianapolis, becomes Harlow Hickenlooper, and is always entertaining children, and not just on Saturday morning. Wherever Harlow went, children were there. A Monument Circle movie premiere, on the circle with Captain and Curly, and at autograph time. Harlow gets in and out of a lot of trouble. Yes, he's just an overgrown kid. And let's not forget another afternoon show, All Hands on Deck. So long, everybody. Harlow dominated the image of Hal Fryer and made it necessary for Hal to turn to character commercials such as Alexander Graham Bell, the Back to the Future scientist, an Iceman, Charlie Chan, Keystone Cop, a circus ringmaster, colonial officer, super salesman, the story lady, motivational speaker, a comedy waiter, and comedy speaker, even Dr. Fryer the Scientist. And now we must remember Johnny Rinko in the Three Stooges movie, The Outlaws is Coming, filmed in 1964. All good things must come to an end. And what a wonderful ending at Channel 20 as Grandpa Harlow with a PBS morning program such as Mr. Rogers, Captain Kangaroo, Sherry Lewis, and many others. And special events like Let's Meet on Sesame Street, even educational opportunities in the classroom, and heartwarming reunions with old friends like Curly Myers. So it's goodbye to Harlow, his friend Curly, his children, his boomers, and friends Janie and Cowboy Bob. Did Hal have fun? You bet he did. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.
Ô, Atelhá! You got a rat right here in Casper City with a capital R, and that stands for rotten, and that rhymes with rodent. Yeah, a rotten rodent rat with a capital R. Yeah, we got a rat right here in Casper City with a capital R, and that stands for rotten, and that rhymes with rodent. Now, what for all like it? Hey, there's another one. Bring the brother in. Join the flock, brother. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. I want to go home. I want to go home. He wants to go home. I want to go home. You cry, baby. Believe me, fellas, if you take the straight and narrow, kids all over the world will look up to you. Yeah, when we get back to Boston, we'll print picture books about you and songs and stories. Your names will live forever. You may even get into TV. TV? Yeah, transformed varmints. Anonymous. I'm sold. Right now, for every road rubber ball now selling guns and ammunition to the Indians. Right, they're going to try to start a daybreak by morning.